Marla, on the 9th of February this year, and this post is still visible on their website, Sinn Féin made a series of uncosted promises to, in relation to the cost of living. This is a pattern that has become all too familiar for the Sinn Féin party. In their alternative budget last October, they committed to spending 3.2 billion euro over and above what this government committed to. Again, more uncosted voodoo economics. Last February, they promised that every individual with an income of up to 30,000 euro would receive a cash payment of 200 euro. If you earned between 30,000 and 60,000, you'd receive a cash payment of 100 euro. I've costed this using 2020 20 revenue figures. That's a promise of 310 million euro. euro. Nowhere uh, was, there, was that promise uh, costed or an explanation given as to how or where the money would come from. They also promised to put one month's rent back into renters' pockets. Another slogan without any substance. I've also costed this promise using ESRI figures. This is a promise worth 854 million euro. Not, again, not costed or any explanation given as to where the money will come from. Sinn Féin would abolish carbon tax that raises approximately 500 million euro per year to go towards the retrofitting of homes, funding farmers to decarbonise, uh, entering, also helping for a just transition not only for the Midlands right across the country and also to help alleviate uh, uh, fuel poverty. In total, in a series of promises, we have uncosted and unexplained spending of over 1.6 billion euro in one press release alone. Being in government is about having discipline, making tough decisions and telling the public what is possible as opposed to what is popular. Government cannot run on slogans or on irresp irresponsible spending commitments. Can Corla, Sinn Féin are like the Muppets, Statler and Waldorf, heckling from their uh, balconies and offering absolutely no uh, viable solutions for the people of Ireland. Thank you.